Hello everyone, my name is Rob and welcome to Sky Sports Football Quiz. Uh, it's a 20 year old game now from the PlayStation 1. Uh, I've got some great memories from it. Me and so Kirsty here. How many players... It's just you and me then. It is indeed Kirsty. Wink Can wink. Can I take your name? Please select the type name. of game you would like to play. So you've got Dream Team where you can basically make the best team you Answer can. five questions per round to win money. Or which you use to... Well, League Championship. Calm down, Kirsty. I'm trying to tell the people what they're about. League Championship where you basically answer questions and Let's play Dream Team. you get results depending upon how you've answered that. Nope, I don't need to play the tutorial, Kirsty. I remember how to play this. These are the Ooh, that's not a great playing. start. I'm not a big Roy Keane. Roy Keane the FA, oh, Cup. FA Cup, okay. South America, Ugh. World Cup 1974. Guess who? Diego Maradona. Okay. World oh, Cup come on. 1970. Arsenal, <laughs> Premier League players. Northeast club teams. World Cup qualifiers. Ooh, this could be a rough. One, this could be rough. Select a category. Right, what's a pretty solid category? Maradona, I'm pretty solid on, I think. Let's go, Maradona. You need to answer questions in order to buy a right midfielder. The category is Diego Maradona. Right, so you can answer. You see the in the bottom left there. When the question comes up, the number will start going down. That's how much money I get for answering. If I answer in the red and get it wrong, I miss the next question. If I answer in the yellow and get it wrong, I get a yellow card. If I get two of those, I miss a question. If I answer in the white, no uh, issues at all. But as you'll see, it gets lower and lower. So the longer I wait, the safer it is, but the less money I'll get. Right, let's do this. In which year did Diego Maradona score his first World Cup goal? 86? No. The correct 82. Was D. You've given the wrong answer. I know it wasn't the 90s. Back out. Which shirt number did Argentina retire? I didn't even know Argentina had retired a shirt number. The correct answer was B. You've answered incorrectly. Yeah, this is not a this is a rough start. Uh, that's Napoli. The correct answer was A. Good answer. There we go. Three and a half million for an easy question. I'll take that. At fifteen. I mean, Argentinos Junior would make sense because it's an Argentinian club. Was B. You've got it. Usually they're Boca Juniors, though, or someone like that. How old when he made his international debut for Argentina against Hungary? That was just the, the last question, wasn't it? Was You've got it? I took a gamble there. Just, I might have got it wrong. Player one, you need to select a right midfield player. Right, so I've got 7.1 million, and these are the players I can buy for that money. Um, yeah, you get all the Premier League and all the Scottish Premier League at this time. Um, Steve Stone is not a bad choice, actually. Um, let's go Steve Stone. That gives us 3 million left so over as well. Relegation battlers, poor Steve Stone. Player one, please select a category. We'll go for the FA Cup this time. The next position we're playing for is a right back. The Premier the next players should be good. Is the FA Cup. Here's Sheringham. Back up. In which minute? Was it the 66th? 
No, 49. No, 17. I thought it was longer than that. Wrong answer. I can't remember though. That's a cup match from 22 years ago. Who was in goal for Everton in 1986 FA Cup final? Um. Oh wow. Bobby Mims. The correct answer was C. Correct. Wasn't Southall. I wasn't sure if it was Leighton or not, but Bobby Mims was the other one. Two million for getting Bobby Mims right. Oh. Word big dunk. Not back then. Could have been Paul Ride out. Yeah. The correct answer was A. Duncan Ferguson's a legend for possibly some of the wrong reasons, but. I knew Rideout was a striker and he had been there back then. Oh, we're back to the FA Cup semi final. 99. That was a quality goal. Ryan Giggs was just absolute class on the pitch. Piece of shit off the pitch, but we're not looking, we're not looking at that aspect. The winning goal. That didn't go to extra time, did it? It did. The correct answer was C. You're wrong. I knew it was late, but <laughs> I didn't think it was extra time late. Who did who beat Chelsea four 0 I mean, theoretically, that's a red kit, so it should be Man U. The correct answer was D. That's correct. Player one, you now need to buy a right back. Hmm, I can get my choice of right back. <laughs> John Terry. John Terry's 5.4, that's cheap. Um, is there anybody decent down here that's a bit cheaper? I want to save some money. Oh, God. No, we don't want to go to Steve Finnan. <laughs> Kishishev, Jesus Christ. Ah, there's just... John Arnarisa, okay. No, we'll, we'll put John Terry Let's there. See which players you've bought so far. We're mid-table mediocrity now. Player one, please select a category. Oh, God. I've got 1.7 to get... The keeper I'd want, I'd need three million more at most, I think. You need to answer questions in order to buy a goalkeeper. Come on, Roy Keane. The selected category is Roy Keane. Right. Oh, God, who was captain before that? Was that Brucey or Robson? Bruce? Shit. Cantona was. was You're incorrect. It obviously wasn't Beckham, but shit, Cantona was captain. An interesting I suppose an interesting player to have as your captain. Which club did Roy Keane play for before man? Was he a Forest player? Or was he oh, Forest or Barnsley? Forest? Yeah. The correct answer was B. That's correct. A lot of these, I can I can narrow it down to two for most of these questions. Champions League semi-final second leg. Real Madrid? No. The Juventus. The correct answer was A. You're not right. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Was that the Arsenal one? It was. Nice. I can, get, I can get a keeper that I want. No problem. Uh, he's Irish, isn't he? Um, Republic of Ireland. The correct answer was C. Correct answer. Player one. Nice. You now need to buy a goalkeeper for your team. 
Alright, so the options I wanted, if I had little of money, it would be Brad Freed, a quality, quality keeper. For a long time was a great keeper, but I'm going to be going Shea Given. Oh, ah, interesting. Seaman was, uh, wow. Happy and Bartes was rated as the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, with Nigel Martin in second. I mean, to be fair, Leeds that year were very good. They had a great squad. Just amazing how they imploded. Anyway, I'm going for Shea Given because he was a fantastic goalkeeper. So Mid-table still. Player one, please pick a category to play. Let's go northeast clubs to try and get a striker you need on the to board. Answer questions in order to buy a centre forward. The category is northeast club team. I'm not looking to forward to these World Cup questions. I think they could go very poorly. Who plays at home at Boothbury Park? Um, it's not Middlesbrough, it's not Hull. Is that Hartlepool? No, Grimsby. No, it is Hull! Oh god, this is 20 years ago, I think! England cricketer played for Scunthorpe. Well, the only bloody one I know there is Ian Botham. The correct answer was A. That's correct. That was, that was only because I knew who he was. I'd heard of him. Which Andy of Newcastle was 94? Andy Cole. The correct answer that was, was what prompted, prompted Man right. U to go and buy him. Not long after. Very United. Um, Scunny. The correct answer was D. Good answer. Need a big question here for some decent money. Uh, they are tigers, aren't they? The correct answer Their fans have a right. tendency to go Good mauled answer. by the tigers. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cringe when they do it, but you know. <laughs> Player one, you must purchase a striker. Hmm. Louis Saha down on six point four isn't bad money actually. Let's see who else. <laughs> Luar Luar, okay. Ranger, he's, that's not bad money for him, actually. Um, Kevin Campbell, Francis Jeffers, Jesus Christ. Um, let's go back up here. Uh, Looking Stefan Everson is 9.9. .9. What the hell? Good Johnson. Let's go, Louis Sahar. Let's take a look at your team. Player one, please select a category. We'll go Premier players. The next position we're playing for is. I just need a good field. category where I can get the like twenty million. Premier League players. Since it's a Tottenham kit there, I'm guessing that. The correct answer was B. No problem. I believe that's Darren Anderson on the right, a man well known for being very talented but very injury prone. Uh, Teddy Sheringham has played for Man United. He has played for Tottenham. Shit. Um, Everton. The correct answer was B. You've got it. I know, because Man U bought him from Tottenham, and then Tottenham bought him back, I think. Stephen Carr? I only knew because it was bald-headed, and I remembered, right. um, I mean, remembered Stephen Carr being a bald-headed, well, mostly bald-headed player. Matt Elliott from went to Leicester from Swindon? No. The 
correct Oxford. answer was B. It wasn't Norwich. I'm afraid that's not the right answer. But then you've got three clubs in the lower divisions, so it was anybody's guess. That's a blue looking kit. Of course, they're all Leicester players. Muzzy, is it? No. The correct answer <laughs> Steve Guppy. You've answered incorrectly. You've been shown the yellow card. Yeah, 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 Kirsty, I get it. I know it weren't Savage. You can certainly tell when it's Savage in a picture. Player one. You need to select a left midfield player to add to your team. Ooh, Gary Speed. Graham Lasseau. He wasn't a left midfielder, was he? Colors, if you're watching, tell me, was Graham Lasseau left midfield? I thought he was more of a left back. Uh, Gary Speed for six million isn't bad. So one, We're not going to win the league, but category. you know what? We're solid. We'll do the World Cup ones you now. In order to buy a central midfielder. This is going to be horrendous. World Cup 1970. Considering this was 22 years before I was born, I might struggle with this. Oh my god, are you kidding? Could it be none? It is. The correct answer was C. You're right. I tell you what, if you look at some of the tackles they did 20, 30 years ago. <laughs> There'd be no players left on the pitch. They'd all be sent off. Such pussies now. <laughs> Which Central American team qualified for the 1970 World Cup Finals? El Salvador? The correct answer was B. That's correct. That was just a, a guess, to be honest. England's qualifying group. Peru? No. Brazil. Oh, it was Brazil. Okay. Incorrect. Okay, turn down the sass, Kirsty. Who scored the opening goal of the 1970 World Cup final? Pele is the obvious choice. Jorginho? The correct answer. Who the hell is he? You're incorrect. I don't even know who he is. Who were Italy's opponents in the semi-final? West Germany? I don't think it was Russia or Belgium. Yes. The correct answer was D. Correct answer. West Germany made a lot of semi finals and finals. Player one, you need to purchase a central midfielder. I see. Oh, yes, we're having Paul Gascoigne. There's no other option. If you can have Paul Gascoigne, you're this having Paul Gascoigne. This is your Gascoigne. team so far. Player one, please pick right, a category. Let's go guess who. Okay, we're playing for a left back. The chosen category is. Guess who? I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one or not. This could be a bunch of identify ones. Can you identify this ground? Not Villa Park. Is that Highbury? The correct answer was A. Correct. I know it probably wasn't Villa Park because I've been there recently. I don't think that was... Stadium light, I'm not sure about the valley. But Highbury, it looked kind of <coughs> with the houses there. <coughs> Sorry, mm, clear my throat out a bit. <laughs> what ground is that? Selhurst, St. Mary, Upton Park, Old Trafford. That's St. Mary's? Oh, that is Old Trafford! You've given the wrong answer. I haven't really seen aerial shots of Old Trafford. I suppose that makes sense with the big stand there. Plus, these shots are over 20 years old. Well, it's a Derby player, but I've got no idea. Lee Morris. No. Nah. The correct answer 
answer was D. Horatio Carbonari, okay. That's Upton Park. You can tell because it says West Ham United. Ain't Craven Cottage. The Ellen Road. Yeah. The correct answer was C. That's correct. Didn't the Craven Cottage didn't look anything like that. I don't know about the other two, but Ellen Road because it, it's a big stadium and Leeds were at that. I mean they're back to being a good sized team now, but they were Player big back one. then. You need to select a left back to add to your team. Right, left back, left back, left back. Nigel Winterburn for 1.8. I know this is Winterburn after his best, but still, that's not bad. Um, Mark Upson's not bad for 2.1 either. Paul, <laughs> Paul Koncheski. <laughs> Let's go Winterburn. I know this... At, your team. at this point, it's a Winterburn past his best, but... I still think he'd be Player a solid one. pick at this point. You need to pick a category. All right, let's do Arsenal. The next position we're playing for is a central midfielder. The next category. I is need a big name in this squad to Arsenal. lift it up a bit. I wanted to get over sixty percent on my final team score. Against which Premiership opponents did Francis Jeffers score his first goal for Arsenal? Guess Spurs. Nah, Bolton. The yeah. In the I, You're not right. in the background, there were people in white shirts, so it was a 50-50 toss-up between Tottenham and Bolton. Correct. I'm sure this is something Arsenal want to remember when they got hammered. They had such a good team in that in that period. They had such a good team. He is a Frenchman. The correct answer was Mr. Vavavoom himself. That's correct. I need bigger questions than that, though. The domestic league and cup double it wasn't Graham. Terry Neal? Bertie me, okay. Incorrect. I knew it weren't George Graham, but apart from that, I was stabbing in the dark. Two fantastic players, Schmeichel and Burkham. Was Burkham that good at penalties? Yeah. Correct answer was C. No problem. As good a player as he was, I, I did remember him being quite poor from the spot. Still not a great to uh, We beat Arsenal 1-0 in the 72 FA Cup final. Ooh, who won it then? No, it's gonna be Leeds, isn't it? That was so dumb! Was that was such a Incorrect. dumb answer. I'm so pissed off with myself about that. That was dumb. That was easy. That was easy Player money. One. The legend that is David Dunn. Go check out David Dunn on YouTube if you haven't seen what makes him such a legend. He really was quality. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look at some of these names. Um, there's Robbie Savage. <laughs> ah, Roberto Di Matteo's down there, Scott Parker. There's, there's a lot of known players down there. Let's let's head back up a bit, though. What have we got? 7.6. That Arca wasn't a bad player. Certainly had the potential. Uh, 
Dalabona, oh Jesus. Um Ooh, this is not good. Steve Melbronk. Ricardo Gardner. Steve Finnan. John Moncur. Kevin Nolan. Oh, I don't know. This isn't good. There's not great options. I'll put Di Matteo in alongside Gaza. I mean, that's, that's not a bad midfield. If you get those four at their prime, you've actually got a solid midfield four there. Player one. Right. Need to pick a World Cup 1974. The next position we're playing for is... A centre-back. The chosen category is... World Cup 1970. This is going to go about as well as World Cup 70 did. What delayed the start of the 74 World Cup final? No corner flags. A. You're wrong. You're very aggressive, Kirsty. I'm not. I'm not liking this attitude from you. Who are Brazil's opponents? Was that Scotland? Was Scotland? Was that the World Cup that Scotland got to? No, I meant to put Scotland. Oh, it's Yugoslavia be. anyway. You've answered incorrectly. I hit the wrong button. I'm using an Xbox gamepad to represent a PlayStation one. It's not good. How many nations qualified? I don't know. 24? The correct 16? Answer was B. You've answered incorrectly. Okay. Who was Scotland's leading scorer? Well, there's only one name that really jumps out to me there, so I'm going to have to go for Billy Bremner, and it's wrong. <laughs> the correct answer Joe Jordan. Was B. Not a clue. You're wrong. Which nation came third? I'm going to go Finland. And I'm wrong. Poland? The yeah. Correct answer was A. No, it went Brazil. One, you need to sign a centre back. Yeah, this is looking rough. Uh, <laughs> are there any good players down here for cheap? I feel like they're a bit harsh on Newcastle players. I don't think Dabazas was that bad a defender that he's down here with fucking Scotland's finest. Yeah, there's some real trash down here though, isn't there? Yeah, this is, um, this is not good. Gavin, fucking hell. Oh, God, um, this is what happens when you get shit categories. <laughs> Alan Stubbs, maybe? Oh, Ronnie Woolwork. He went bad on Championship Manager. Craig Short, Stubbs, Alpi. You know, they're kind of harsh on the Scottish players. Some of these are actually decent players. We'll have uh, Let's take Mr. A look Reed. At your team. My team one. has probably gone down quite the a lot in value since that, though. A center back. The category is South America. America. I want to save the one, the striker of the last just to have, have a chance of getting a good striker. Which of the following nations didn't appear in 20, 2001 Copper America? Uh, yeah, Liberia? Hey! Correct answer was C. I had no, no clue. But I assumed the top two would, and then it was Liberia and Bolivia. Which nation hosted 2001 Copper America despite protests from other nations?
Bolivia. No, Costa Rica. Colombia. I've got some rough cut categories in here. Who took out Honduras? Mexico? No. Colombia. <laughs> That's not fair. You can't have two answers be the same place. That's so sh not fair. The man who coached Brazil during their troubled 2001 Copa America tournament. Could it have been Scolari back then? It's a long time ago, but the correct answer was D. Correct answer. Nice. I'll take it. Oh god. Which nation won it? I mean, that's a yellowish kit, so that would imply... That Colombia. The correct answer was C. Good answer. So Colombia hosted it and then won it. Okay. I guess people were pissed off about that. Player one, you need to purchase a centre back. Oh, that's good value for Jonathan Woodgate there. Hang on, Jonathan Woodgate, who was part of Leeds' absolutely amazing team at that point, is 3.5. And fucking Gary Doherty is 4.7. Fucking Rufus is 4.9. Who valued these players? Someone who knew nothing about football? Give me Jonathan Here's Woodgate. A list of your current players. Right, so we need a good Player final one. category here, guys. You need to answer questions in order to buy a centre forward. The chosen category is... Strikers are expensive, but if I can get a good one, it could really boost us up. Another look at the watch from the Dutch referee. Wright chases it. Perutti hesitates. And Ian Wright goes off. It's still Wright. Can he score? He's hit the post. This is Sheringham. Oh, dear some quality strikers around that period for England. Which city was World Cup qualification played? Naples? No. The Rome. Correct answer ah, I thought that was too obvious. You've given the wrong answer. Who did Scotland defeat? Was it England? No. The correct Wales. Was B. You've answered incorrectly. I just remember Scotland got to a World Cup around that period and England didn't. I was just wondering if that was why. Who pipped England for qualification? Is that Scotland? No. The correct answer <laughs> was C. The referee reaches for his pocket I had to go for one of these. Yeah, 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 Kirsty, I miss a question. I know, I know. Which English player was hit by a missile? Well, that looks like Ashley Cole from that picture. And Joe Cole. <laughs> the correct God damn it! back then as well. 90s had some fantastic teams, they really did. All the different nations. Who attempted the tackle? 97. <sighs> Man, Keown. Tony Adams. Am I going to get nothing? I got Play nothing one. off that. Adiakin Bahi! Attacking influence. Jesus Christ, look at the shit I've got to choose from. You know, we're, we're just going to stick Adiakin Bahi up front. So we mid-table mediocrity. Yay! 61%, I'll take it. My first, my first attempt in 20 years, I'll take a 61%. Player one. 
Your team's rating is mid-table mediocrity. I mean, if you look at the players in that team, like, if you take out Akibai and Peter Reid, they've all played for big clubs. And they've all been quality players in their time. So that's actually not a bad team. If you get prime of each of those, that's a solid team. Apart from Abby Akinbai, who's he's got my number nine shirt, Christ. Nice, there we go. That was Guy Sports football quiz. If you want to see me do it again, send comments below. I've enjoyed this. It's been a Good blast down memory lane, but then the, uh, a few of the answers again, and of course getting to spend time with my beloved uh, Kirsty here. Can you cut it in the Premier League of soccer knowledge? Apparently so. <laughs> Excellent. Can I look at my hair scores? I can. Okay, player one. Maybe this came with the ROM? I don't know, but maybe that's to give you a benchmark. I mean, 67%, that is just over a third, so maybe that, maybe it's a benchmark, I don't know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like, like I say, if you want to see more of it, I'm happy to play it again, because I enjoyed this. I thought it was fun. Uh, it was nice showing off some of my knowledge um, hopefully some better categories the next time I do it anyway thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time